one. Hello, Mr. Colby Sharp. I'm here in downtown Naperville getting wet. And in a moment, my friend Brenda, who's today's videographer, we're going to go under that bridge over there, that covered bridge. Show the covered bridge, Brenda, that was built in 1981, which happens to be the year that you and I were born, Mr. Sharp and Mr. Jonker. Okay. And Mr. Sharp, I'm not here today to talk about that covered bridge. I'm here to talk about the winner of the 1967 Newberry Medal, Uppo Road Slowly. My head is getting pretty wet right now, Mr. Sharp and Miss Brenda, so let's move under that bridge because in a moment I will be a soaked mess. <laughs> is this better, Brenda? Much better. All right, so here we are to talk about Upper Road Slowly. This stars, to me, one of the most annoying characters that we have met in a Newberry book so far. As you know, Mr. Sharp, her name is Julie, and I think Julie is rather selfish. Now, right now, Julie in Maine, who is a guest, uh, who is a reviewer for Brain Burps About Books, is saying, I hope you're not talking about me being annoying, Mr. Sh Mr. Shu. Well, no, Julie in Maine is quite wonderful, but Julie in this book, I thought was a pretty terrible person. As I said, I thought she was selfish, I thought she was incredibly mean to Agnes. And uh, a kind of interesting side note, if I, if my mother had given birth to a girl who happened to be me, my name would have been Agnes. <laughs> so when I was reading this book, I kept thinking about what it would be like to have gone through my name named Agnes and knowing that people probably would have called me Aggie and I'm not sure I would have liked being called Aggie as an elementary school student. But I digressed and let's go back to Upper Road slowly. So I think the thing I will remember the most about this book, Mr. Sharp, is that the protagonist was a character who I did not care for, a character who I would not want to sit down with and eat lunch with and talk to. I felt that she um, was just kind of an evil person. So I hope, Mr. Sharp, that you enjoyed this book more than I did. I don't think you did. And with that being said, I'm going to talk about two books that I'm actually looking forward to reading that I just bought at Anderson's Bookshop. I bought a book called Homesick that a few people have recommended to me, and a book that I know you liked, Bird and Squirrel. I'm looking forward to reading Bird and Squirrel more than I looked forward to reading Up a Road Slowly. Now my friend Brenda's going to come on and she's going to talk about some books that she bought today at Anderson's Bookshop, the best bookshop in the world. Say hello to Brenda, everyone. Hi, everyone. I think um, pretty much. Well, I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna talk about those. Our next. Book yeah, book we we first. selected our. Uh, Brenda and I belong to a book club together with four other librarians, and today when we went to Andersons, we selected our next two books. Now, the first one, the one for the next book club is um, "Starry River of the Sky" by Grace Lynn. Um, beautiful illustrations. I have to say I'm guilty of not reading the first one, but I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, and the first one is Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm let's looking. show one of the illustrations. All right, there's one of the spot illustrations. Yes. And, and there's full page. Where is the full as page? Well. Oh, here's one right oh, there. There we go. There we are. Oh, look at that bright. All right, so the first one is Starry River of the Sky, and the second book is... And the second book that we picked was Seven Tales of Trinkets. All right, by Shelley Moore Thomas. And we're looking forward to reading both of those and discussing both of those. And you went on kind of a shopping spree today, right? Yes, I did. Do you want to show some of the stuff I you actually, bought in addition to our book club books? I actually bought two things that I'm, I've been... Well, one of them that I've been dying to read since two. I, I bought, well, it was Laurie's son. And I got lucky because it's autographed. Yay! Yay! Go Louis. Who won two Newberry medals? Yes, of course. And I am looking forward to this ever since I read The Giver for the first time. Did you have you read um, the first three? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Um, and the other thing was one that was um, we did not pick it, and I was kind of sad know, about. it. but maybe we'll it pick it for for another next book time. for yeah. next time. And it's Reading Room, and it's I also just, signed. Also signed. <laughs> And I think I want to read it because it's about a girl that goes into a sanatorium because she has tuberculosis. And I always like stories about, you know, people going away for odd reasons. Um, do you want to share two of the picture books you bought? Yes, I do, actually. Um, hmm. I think I'll show this one and maybe Bored. Oh, I'm because bored. I'm, I want to show I'm bored because when you were talking about... Um, what was it 
up a road up slowly. A, See, it wasn't even memorable yes, enough exactly. to remember the cover. Um, when you were talking about the up title. a road slowly and saying how I hope horrible. these books don't fall into the river. <laughs> I know, <laughs> that would be really bad. Um, when you were talking about that, I thought about the potato and how annoying the potato in this book is because... Just like Julie yes. is annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Although the potato is a lot more likable. Yeah, the potato is um, pretty cute. Yes. In a kind of grumpy way. Yes. Um, so I was thinking about that. So this is one of the ones that I got. And then John Cleffins. Yeah. Um, this is not my hat. Because I love, I want my hat back. <laughs> and I think you'll also love, have you read it yet? No, I have not. Oh, you're going to love it. And I was totally team bear. I have to admit. <laughs> All right. All right, well, thank you, Brenda, for talking about these wonderful books purchased from uh, the, our local independent bookshop. And I will leave you now, Mr. Sharp. I'm going to wait a bit before it stops raining because Brenda and I do not have an umbrella. And I hope you, sir, are having a wonderful day. And as always, happy, happy reading. <laughs>